Hello guys, good morning. Okay, today I will share with you um, how you can get an affiliate link uh, from WHMCS dashboard uh, to redirect uh, the link directly to the product page or the product category page. Okay, basically WHMCS uh, is a web hosting client area where 90% of the hosting company will use this um, software WHMCS to manage their hosting uh, domain name for the client so once you register as an affiliate uh, to the hosting provider sites you will be given an affiliate link like this this is for example an affiliate link so the link will uh, read usually will direct to the client area and prepare at, at the end of the link is your affiliate ID so usually this link uh, the provider only told you to use this link so this link will redirect them to the default uh, home page of the client area for example here okay this is the client area so the link usually will direct to this page the page uh, without the statistic okay now we want to use the link so that once uh, your prospect click on the link so they can directly go to the service that uh, you want them to go to so for example here we have this provider uh, got a lot of uh, categories and products so uh, let's say you want uh, the user to click once click to your affiliate link and directly go to this product let's say this one for the dedicated server so from the WHMCS uh, documents so we can see that uh, the system already support affiliate linking code a customized look, uh, linking code where you can directly link to a product by prepending the appending the, the the PID the product ID numbers also you can directly uh, link the affiliate code directly to the card so uh, now uh, the most useful thing is uh, you, you can directly link the affiliate code to the product that you want the user to go into so that here we will use the PID number so how to get the PID number so for example this is a um, typical uh, WHMCS client area for any web hosting that using uh, WHMCS so how to get the PID the product ID so when you go to the product page the service usually service or the new service so you can select any of uh, the available uh, product category so let's say here we check the dedicated so in the button here the green button if the layout is using this uh, grid type layout so once you move your mouse uh, on top of the order but order now button the green button you can see at the bottom there the link is uh, add to cut php uh, add and PID equal to 239 number this is the, the PID number the product ID number you can see at the bottom of the, the screen the bottom uh, left you can see the link goes to PID 239 so you have to take note of this PID number which uh, once people click the affiliate link with the, this PID number they will directly go the action is similar to the directly click this and go to this uh, configuration page so that they don't have to go scroll all all the way to the other categories okay let's test this out so here i already have a default uh, affiliate link so let's say this is a uh, my link copy okay we want to check also whether the link is working or not so we can first go to the our affiliate uh, dashboard so here we can see the clicks number is zero meaning that uh, this is actually a new affiliate account so we, uh, I don't yet receive any clicks 
so we go to uh, we open chrome we test it using a different ip address so that the ip can get detected okay it's working uh check uh, what's the ip okay we use canada ip okay we can copy our affiliate link so this is the if you see here this is the our default affiliate link copy and we go to the browser so this is the your default affiliate link so we are going to put a product id so that once people click on the link they will redirect go to the product page certain particular product page that you want so we check uh, what product we want to redirect the user so here we check uh, shared hosting web hosting so we test uh, this one so if you check at the bottom of the screen the link the button link goes to PID 231 so you have to add this PID number uh, after your affiliate URL. So you can also uh, using the browser inspect. You can get the product ID actually from here. So from the A, here PID two three one. The link goes to PID two three one. So we can prepare to this one. Okay, as this you can add the PID. Let's say here, copy this we change the number to the product id 231 okay so i want to show again the the full uh, url of the affiliate link is here so this is going to be your full url your affiliate url to uh, this typical product is at pid 231 Okay, we have added it and click enter to simulate a user click to that link. So once user click uh, on the link, okay, they will directly go to the product page where you need to select the uh, domain everything. So let's say here, check if it goes to the correct product. yeah this one just now the product is the shared web hosting rookie so this is a shared web hosting so once you just, once you just click the order now they will have to select the domain so this is the same product linux web hosting so same goes to the other product also okay to verify this uh we can go to the client dashboard the affiliate dashboard check uh, the click is already been, been counted or not okay now we have one clip here okay we try a different link uh, using different ip so now uh, i have one clip from just now okay we are going to test from different ip Okay. okay now uh, we will click the link from France so that the simulation will, can be reset okay we, uh, we go to a different product let's say I want to redirect user to directly go to this dedicated server because for the dedicated server once you click this uh, it won't ask you to key in the domain so it will directly go to the configuration all right so this one uh, the product id is okay if you check at the bottom of the screen once you hover your mouse on top of the button you can see this one for this product is the id is 254 while the rest is 255 uh, 259 258 so this one we will test using the Intel Xeon D with the product ID 254 
so we go to the our full link and we change this to 254 which will redirect the user directly to this product Intel Xeon ID okay we'll test this out uh, we copy the full link so this link you can use on your website uh, link from a button link uh, whatever uh, source So you copy this and uh, you want to verify again, we go to the our affiliate uh, dashboard. Now we have one click. So we are going to have to have a second click after this. So we go back to the uh, simulated browser, the Chrome browser using a uh, foreign IP. So we can paste the link. So this one uh, 254, a different product which will go to the Intel Zone. So once you enter it will read uh, automatically redirect user to the configuration phase page for the Intel Xeon D so the user doesn't need to scroll all over the all, a lot of product so that you can uh, easily target uh, the link the page the affiliate page where you want the user to land to the product that you want the user to land into once they click the link so once the user already landed on the product uh, your desired product you can check on the affiliate this one we re refresh this page okay now we have a second click so now we know that the link is uh, actually working it's been counted if you purchase from uh, this link so uh, the commission will be counted okay because this is also mentioned in the whmcs uh, manual so you can use this is it's not a, a trick or whatever because it's already being documented it's just that the hosting provider didn't want you to use this this method actually so but you can actually use it it's just that you need to find the the product id in order for you to use this uh, full URL to the product page okay one more thing in case you just want to redirect user to the in case the product ID is not valid anymore okay what will happen okay because the product will uh, maybe the provider will change their product delete this product or remove it so it will create a new uh, product ID so if the product id is not found on the client area or invalid product id or non-existent product id or you simply want to the user to land into the this one the category page the product category page so you can simply uh, fill in any uh, non-existent product id let's say uh, currently the range is around two to three hundred so we can simply put product id like 9999 so basically this is a non-existent product id so if we use this link what will happen is it will bring the user directly to the category page this one with the first uh, category being selected by default so whatever the first category here on the list it will be shown once the user uh, landed on the non-existing product id page okay we'll check it here okay we just using another different ip let's see okay go for germany frankfurt okay we verify the, our ip address first let's refresh okay now we are in germany okay we check this one the testing using a non-existent product id so we copy this full url copy and then paste it okay it will bring the user to the 
product selection or the product category uh, page the store page actually the the product or the client area store page so the the category that will be shown is the first category the most top category basically this one on this case is the dedicated server so if the cloud hosting is the first category so the default page will be shown as the cloud uh, hosting uh, page so if we can verify whether this one is already uh, being counted or not so just now we have two clip now we should have the third clip so we go back to our affiliate yeah we have three clicks now for the latest one okay so uh, it's quite useful if you want to redirect user directly to the product page if the your affiliate link got a lot of product you want to focus the user to domain cloud hosting or other services provided by the hosting provider instead of using your default affiliate link which only redirect to their generic page or whatever page they set for the default affiliate page okay i hope that this information found you useful and if you like this video uh, please subscribe for more uh, our my, our sharing videos and enjoy the videos thank you so much